What's going on 100 Gang? It's your boy 100 Gang, Nate. And today I will be talking about what I paid for my 2023 FL5 Honda Civic Type R. Now, this is a video that I've been wanting to make for a while and I think it's the perfect time to drop it. Now tune in, I'm gonna get into all the details about what I paid. Now if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe button. If you've been with the channel, I really, really appreciate it. Go ahead and get some merch from 100gangclothing.com. I really, really appreciate that. And if you like cars like these, go ahead and subscribe to the MOC. That's me, Race Car Friends, Cuda Chaotic, and Blueprint 1LE. Let's go. So right now, we have sticker in hand what I paid for my 2023 Civic Type R. Now, I know it's been a lot of like hate going on. Let me adjust this real quick. It's been a lot of hate going on surrounding the Civic Type R. I mean, you hear different people saying, eh, the car is not worth this, it's not worth that. I can't believe you paid $25,000 over sticker. I can't believe you did all. Listen, to be honest with you guys, we live in an unprecedented time. COVID-19 came in, messed up everything. I feel like car manufacturers, mostly dealerships, they took advantage of COVID and now they're marking up cars. Unfortunately, that's the time period we're living in. There used to be a time period where you can get cars under MSRP, but now that does not exist. With that case being said, this car right here is extremely rare. So knowing how dealerships are, they naturally are gonna take advantage of this anyway. And, and if you've been with the Type R for a while, you know before even COVID even happened, with the FK8, they were charging up on the um, Honda Civic Type R. So that's just something that comes with these level of cars, unfortunately. So now let's get into the video and I'm gonna show y'all what I paid for it. Now, if I can find like a little sticker I can put on the screen, I'm gonna do that. So when you buy a 2023 Civic Type R, oh yeah, one more thing, one more thing before we get into that. If you paid anything under 10K on markup, I think you got a great deal with this car. Um, if you've been with this channel for a while, you've seen me, I attempted to get one like two times before I actually got to get this one. It was a, a Sonic Grey Pearl and it was a Boost Blue that Race Car Friends has. Um, they were trying to, one of them was trying to get me for like 60000 for this car. No, I do not feel like this is a $60,000 car. Um, the best deal that I got was on a Boost Blue Pearl and I think they had me at like 7000 over. That was the best deal I saw before I got the deal that I got now. Now let's get into it. So when you get a Honda Civic Type R, you're gonna get, you know, 315 horsepower, 2.0 liter, liter, direct injection, turbocharged, four-cylinder engine, got the six-speed manual, um, you know, got the Bose premium audio system, 12 speakers, got the color screen with navigation, um, you know, get the Bluetooth, the wireless, all that stuff, get the 19-inch alloy reels, get the blind spot information system, um, you know, you get the, the triple outlet sport exhaust, get the LED headlights, you know, adaptive cruise control, collision mitigation, braking. You get a lot of things. Uh, the extra add-on for this car, I don't know if you guys know, but Honda and Toyota are like two big brands where you cannot order cars. You got to take what they give you. Um, if I were able to spec this car out, I think I would have put at least at least $5,000 on it, but I had to buy it as is from the factory because that's how Honda gets now. They don't allow you to build your car. You got to take what they give you. So the only thing that's extra on this particular vehicle right here is a championship white color. It's exclusive to the Honda Civic Type R. And this paint color right here cost me $455. Um, I love the paint color. It's like a bright white, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know, like a coffee, coffee white. Like you ever seen like coffee stains on a white mug? That's how this color looks to me, in my opinion. And it varies by the sunlight that you're in. Sometimes it's very, very bright white. Sometimes you see the coffee mug white color. Um, you know, I, I really like it. It's a, it's a special color to me. Uh, my favorite colors for the Type R right now have to be this color, the red, the black. The Sonic Gray Pearl doesn't look bad either, but I think it's this color, the red and black are like my top three colors for the Type R. Um, I'm thinking about doing a future wrap. I'm not sure if I should do one or not. Y'all get, get in the comments and y'all let me know if y'all think I should do one or not. So, I could go down this whole list right now and go line for line and tell you about what everything entails and stuff like that. But let's go ahead and get straight to the point. So, after all these things are added into the car, my car came out to $44,845. That's what it came out to be at MSRP. Plus, you got the taxes, you know, tag title. All the other extra BS that they put on there. Dock fee, all that stuff. So, when all was said and done, 
I want to let y'all know what I paid. If you've been with me for a while, you know I had a Z011 LE, okay? Initially, when I first set up the deal, I was trading in my Z011 LE, and my dealership agreed to give me $63,000 for my Z011 LE, okay? Now, I don't know how it happened. I don't know why it happened, but in order to make the deal happen, the dealership ended up giving me $69,000 for my Z011 LE that was wrecked, okay? So they gave me $69,000 for a wrecked Z011 LE. Whole front end tore up, all right? Then, at some point, they were gonna charge me $5,000 over. But for some reason, when we did the financing, we got through Honda, they could only do the deal if they gave me this vehicle at how much? $31 below MSRP. That's right. I got my 2023 F05 Honda Civic Type R for under MSRP by $31. Now, I'm not sure why the deal worked itself out that way. Um, all I can say is that I'm happy. I got my Type R below MSRP. I'm probably the first person on the planet who got their Type R under MSRP by $31. Now, the catch was to this is on the back end, I had to buy all the warranties. But I wasn't really worried about getting all the warranties because I want to take, I want to protect the tires. I want to protect the windows. I want to get gap insurance anyway. And in three months, I could cancel it. So I actually cancel it now, but I'm just going to keep it for three months. But I always probably keep gap, especially if you've been with the channel for a while. You know, I have with my last car. So when we talk about deals about the Honda Civic Type R, there are some crazy deals out there. There are some people out there charging over $25,000, $30,000 over MSRP for this car. Is it worth that? No, no car in the history of mankind is worth that. Rolls Royces aren't worth that. Uh, Bugattis aren't worth that. McLarens aren't worth that. No car is worth $25,000, $50,000 over MSRP. But a car like this, I don't see a problem with paying $5,000 over, $7,000 over. As long as you stay underneath that $10,000 mark, you're gonna be able to get and keep the value in this vehicle. Because if you look at the used market right now, FK8s are going for MSRP with thousands of miles on them. So you're not going to lose. I know a lot of people say, oh, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. They refuse to do it. And that's okay. That's cool. But if you really, really love this car, and you really want to get it and you don't mind shelling out the extra money, go ahead and do it because you're going to get a great vehicle. I think somebody corrected me and told me that at first I thought it was only 500 units. I were being made in the U.S. till 2025, but somebody corrected me and told me it was 1,500 units. So that's 1,500 units in America. So if you get a Type R in America, you're one of 1,500. Now, that's extremely, extremely, extremely rare. And for me, it just makes sense, especially with everything that Honda offers. When you buy a Honda vehicle, a new Honda vehicle, they're going to give you two years of free oil change and tire rotations. You know, you can go back in the back, get you a nice warranty, protect your vehicle. And you're going to have a great, amazing car that's practical, that's fast, it's fun driving, it gets attention. I mean, and you're not, you're not going to get it at an arm and leg price. At least I didn't. You know, some people out there are paying $20,000 over. I don't know why you would do that. But for me, I was lucky enough to get it below MSRP. And I'm very happy with the purchase. It's been a phenomenal ride. It's been a hell of a car. I can't say enough good things about the Type R. I don't mean for that to rhyme. But, man, I love my decision. Um, of course, I'm always going to be a GM guy at heart. And y'all wait on it because I'm going to bring some more muscle back to the channel soon. So, I just want you guys right now to embrace the JDM world because this JDM vehicle has really opened my mind to things that I never thought I'd be open to. Like I said, I told y'all before, if you've seen my video a while back, I don't like Subarus. But now I'm looking in towards getting the Subaru or even driving the Subaru. I'm looking, I'm open to everything now, especially with JDMs, because I just didn't know that JDMs could hold their own that much. I just didn't know they were just such amazing cars. Now I see why Paul Walker and the Fast and Furious was like, yo, import, import, import. Now, I obviously understand Toretto's side too, but now I get it. I get the hype. I get why the Honda community is so strong. I get why the Subaru community is so strong. It's like... It's a strong platform. It's a very strong platform of a car and it performs well and you don't have to give your right and left leg for it. And I love it for that. So I just wanted to let you guys know what I paid for my Civic Type R. 
um that's probably not going to be the same situation for everybody else because obviously i work for honda stuff like that but as i said um before i even worked for honda i had a deal that had me seven over i'm pretty sure i even could have got it down to five and uh you just got to go in there and do the same man don't get pushed over by these dealers don't let them screw you anything over 10 is a bad deal in my eyes but if you can get it at right at 10 or underneath that I think you're going to get a great deal, and I think you're going to get a great car that you're going to really, 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 really love, because I do. And so that brings us to the conclusion of this video, this video, I said video, this video, and uh, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you've been with the channel, I really, really appreciate it. And if you like cars like these, go ahead and subscribe to the MOC. That's me, Race Car Friends, QD Chaotic, and Blueprint 1LE. And it don't hurt to get some merch. Look down and go to 100GameClothing.com. Let's go.